Hey YouTube, ready to see an update on all my tanks? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian again, coming at you today with a video on uh, Hey YouTube, it's Brian again coming at you with kind of a tank update. I'm going to take you through uh, my fish room and show you all the fish tanks. And um, I'll have a separate video showing all the shrimp tanks. Uh, just going to do two separate videos on that. So watch for that one coming up soon. But anyway, um, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a fish room um, kind of a walkthrough uh, tour uh, update video. So I thought I, it was time to do one. Um, before I get started, just want to remind everyone, make sure you uh, check out Aquatic Support Systems. Go over to their Facebook page and like it. Go over to the Aquatic Support Community Facebook group and become a member of that. Uh, it's a great group, a lot of great hobbyists involved there. And just make sure that you uh, check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support and their YouTube channels. Those will be posted down below. What you are looking at here is uh, my 150 gallon discus tank. It's uh, quite a bit different. Um, as you can see, um, I've rescaped it. Uh, a lot of plants are still growing in. And, but the most important thing is the discus have changed. Um, I've got 12 wild caught discus in here now. Three different types. I've got the green tefes, the um, the wild uh, blo uh, blonde brown Rio Cometras and a couple of uh, blue Madeiras. So I'm really liking these guys. Um, even though there's three different types, at, at first glance they all look similar, but there are three different uh, strains or types in here. Um, decided to go wild. I uh, hadn't ever done them before, and I was just really starting to like them. Um, so I sold off everything that was in this tank. Um, discus wise and uh, bought the new ones here um, bought most of them from my local fish store uh, bought a few of them from a buddy of mine too uh, that keeps some wilds and uh, yeah they're doing good so far um, one thing I really like about them is they compared to the other type of discus domestics um, they, they tend to school um, they kinda like to swim back and forth all together right now of course they're not they're just huddling up but uh, here they go. Um, so they're kind of fun. Um, I'm really enjoying them. Um, probably add a few more um, if I see something out there that I like. Um, and then what I've done is I've rescaped the tank with the Oiko stones. I don't think I've shown this on a video yet. Uh, if I have, I apologize. Um, and I'm kind of doing a pretty basic scape similar to my 90 with just Blixa Japonica. Um, AR Mini and um, S Repens as kind of the carpet. Um, I did this a couple of months ago now, but I've just been having a real bad time with algae and getting the balance in this tank. Uh, everything got completely thrown out of whack. So um, things are just finally starting to bounce back. Um, I actually had to do a blackout period and um, but things are things are going well now, so um, hopefully next time I shoot this tank, it should look nice and nice and lush, and uh, quite a bit better. It looks a little bit, uh, um, just doesn't look. The plants aren't looking real healthy right now, so um, which in turn, um, I know a lot of people um, contact me um, wanting Blixa Japonica, and I just haven't had any available because of all this, but. That's this tank. Uh, I'll get a couple of close-ups here on some of the discus. These things are, most of them are quite a bit bigger than the ones I had before. Um, I decided to spend a little bit extra money on some of them and get uh, uh, ones that were full grown or closer to full grown. So yeah, that's what I got going on there. The 90 is looking really good. Um, still got domestics in this tank and I'm going to keep it that way for a while just because I like the ones I've got and I've had uh, real good luck with them so far. Um, got the uh, Still got the two red covers, 
the uh, two white butterflies, or snow whites, I'm sorry. And then I've got a reflection D, and actually this is the reflection D, and then this one, I always forget what strain it is. I think it might be like a blue scorpion or something like that. Um, as you can see, the plants are doing pretty well. Um, the Blixa um, is, uh, I did a huge trimming a while back, and now it's just starting to bounce back. Um, and then um, the AR Mini is just looking awesome. Finally getting a knack for this plant. I had a real tricky time every time I've tried it in the past, but now I think I've finally got it figured out. And uh, the S Repens carpet in this tank is just really looking nice and lush. Um, just looking, waiting for it to grow a little bit further than this direction. It's getting pretty tall too, so I'll be doing a trimming and I'm getting rid of some of the uh, trimming soon. So yeah, that's the 90. Um, give you kind of a full tank shot. I'm uh, I'm liking it now. Getting ready to do some trimmings on the AR Mini too. So um, if anyone's looking for that type of stuff, uh, hit me up and I'll see what we can do for you. Okay, so now we're at the living room tank, the 125 out here, and uh, things have changed again in this tank. I've moved some fish around, you'll see more on that when we get downstairs, but now I've got uh, two of my Hoga Boomerums in here, I've got Triton up here, and then my original female, which right now she's kind of hiding back here, get her out. Um, they spawned once, but then she ate the eggs the next day. And it was pretty quick after, she's a little beat up because he's roughing her up. Um, but they spawned once and then the next day she ate the eggs. But um, like I was saying, she took to him right away and he took to her. When I, I've never had these two together before. And uh, this is before I moved them up here when they did the spawn. Um, and then since I've had them up here, they've been doing okay. She's been hiding a little bit more lately. He's a little rough on her, but she's starting to heal up. So we'll just kind of see how things go with them. Um, and then I've still got the loaches in here. They're pretty much all hiding under these rocks right now. But I got like seven or nine loaches in here that are getting pretty decent size. But Triton's still doing well. Still adjusting to this uh, tank a little bit. He's only been in here a couple of weeks. Seems like when you move a fish, it takes a while for them to get their full personality back. Not sure if you're getting a good view of him because I got the it's sunny day out and I got the let's close the shades here in the patio door. There. He's a beast. Really like this fish. Anyway, all right, so moving on to the basement, got some new stuff down here. First thing I'll show you is I've got a pair of wild caught Spectabilis now. This is actually Jeff Rapp's wild caught pair. Um, I got these, uh, it's been about a month now. Um, the female is right here, she's looking great. The male, there was some issues with shipping, and I'm not sure if the male is even back to his normal self. He's really improved a lot since I got him, but he barely made it, um, to be honest with you, in the shipping. Um, he's an old fish, um, so we'll see if he recovers fully and if they, um, if they are able to breed at some point. Um, I wish I could get a side shot of this guy. He's, he's nice looking, but you can... He definitely shows some age and, and that type of thing. You know, he's an older fish. Real big Spectabilis. Uh, about a foot long, maybe a little more. But uh, there she is again. Nice looking fish. So we'll see what happens with these two. Obviously the reason I got them is I'd like to try to, to breed them. So we'll see if that happens. If not, you know, we'll chalk it up to whatever. But I'm enjoying these fish. Up here is the Spectabilis that I had, which are actually F1s from the pair below. Um, they, um, 
they have attempted to spawn once. It was a month or two ago. She laid eggs, and after about the second day, she ate them, or he ate them. And then he started getting pretty rough with her, so I divided them. I've just recently pulled the divider again within the last couple of days after she's healed up pretty good. And they seem to be, you know, doing all right. He's kind of showing off right now, as you can tell. So um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully something soon. Uh, moving on up here are what I have left. The two reddest latest that have paired off. Uh, they have not spawned for me. Um, they, they at one point looked like they were going to. Her tube was way down and they were showing spawning dress. But it just never happened. Or if they did lay eggs somewhere, or she did lay eggs somewhere, I couldn't see them. It wasn't in the pot. And, um nothing became of it but they're figuring each other out still a little bit um, I've been working with another guy um, on uh, he's uh, at some point gonna send me a female that's unrelated to this male so we'll probably end up getting rid of her and putting putting the unrelated female in with him but I like these guys um, they're really fun big nuckles on both of them. Really fun to watch. Good amphilophus if you don't have a ton of room too because they don't grow to be all that big but yet they, they show all the characteristics of a lot of your other ones. You know they remind me a lot of a hoga boomerum or uh, I don't know um, amarillo that type of thing so um, got about uh, seven or eight uh, smaller clown loaches that I'm growing out in here too. So that's 75 gallon up on top. Um, this tank here, 125, used to be the tank that uh, Warpaint was in. He's moved on. Uh, my buddy Mike Mann has him now. Um, what I've got in here is a couple of. Uh, wild caught females that I got from wraps. This is one of them here. And then I paired them up with a male that I had. And uh, and then there's the same scenario over on this side of the divider. I can't find both of them right now. They like to hide a little bit more on this side, but this is a really nice female. She is colored up for me a lot, showing the female characteristics. Black fin on top, blonded out, um, and uh, now he seems to be picking on her a little bit, and she's not digging it, so I'm going to keep my eye on them and maybe split them up, but this guy right here has got a lot of potential, really nice looking. I got this guy from Mike, um, when I... Uh, gave him war paint uh, along with uh, some of these over here some additional grow outs two sets of grow outs in this tank umbi real mags um, these are the ones these are uh, from one bloodline and these are from another bloodline um, some of them are spoken for already um, some I'm going to keep and uh, some I'll be selling off once I find the ones that I want to keep. So if you're looking for real Magumbies, hit me up. Um, down below here, we've got Thorson and his female Maggie, who just spawned yesterday. See, she's uh, got a nice clutch of eggs there. He is just really starting to look nice. Well, they both are. They're really, they've both grown a lot lately, I've noticed. Look at this guy. Real nice zombie. She's not too shabby either.
not stress her out too much, but... Um, oh, and down over here are some more of my Holga Boomerums. This is my original uh, male, the one I call El Guapo. And then this is Pandora, who I used to have with Triton. I uh, decided to swap females for the two males, and, um, well, Triton and the other one seemed to be getting along okay. These two didn't. They did for a week, and then he really started beating on her, so I divided them. So we'll see what's going on there. I've got another male coming that I'm going to probably put with her soon, um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then up here is my angry Hoga. This is the one I used to have uh, upstairs where Triton is now. Um, he's, uh, he's full of piss and vinegar like ever. Fun fish though. Really fun. He just ate some uh, Southern Delight large cichlid and there's a few extra pellets that he's spitting around in there. Um, so he's doing well. I've got a few other things down here. Um, these are some uh, red devil fry that I am raising up. Um, I'm actually looking to get rid of them, so if you're looking for some red devils, these are true red devils. They are from uh, one of the two pairs that I had previously. Uh, a couple more over in this tank, so uh, let me know. Um, I've got what's left of my Venustus. I've only got five left now. Some bigger ones, if you're looking for some Venustus, I'm looking to get rid of these, so uh, hit me up. Um, Planet Tank on this side is doing well. I've uh, gotten some new species of plants lately and trying to grow out some of the stuff that uh, I had before. I kind of neglected both of the tanks down in the basement here, but uh, focusing on this one a little bit to uh, make it look nice and grow out some stuff. Some stuff for myself, some stuff that I can make available to people, so let me know if you're looking for something. I'll see if I got it. Um, and then down here where the other planet tank was, it's no longer a planet tank. That might be set, um, temporary, but I've got a few more umbies in here. Um, this guy has been lip locking with a female that's in here, but he's a real stunner. Real stunner. Really looking forward to seeing what, uh, what's going to happen here. Here's the female. They actually did spawn for me, and I've got, uh, I pulled the fry, so they're not in the tank. And there's another male over here that likes to hide behind that pot, so. Um, and then the final tanks are my Midas grow-outs, which I'm looking to thin the herd here, so, um, if you're looking for some true Midas, let me know. These are F2s, descendants uh, from uh, from wraps, from a wild, uh, well, it's too hard to get into. But anyway, they're F2s and they are true Midas. And then below is uh, something new in my fish room for me, is I've got some lion's eye now. Pretty happy about that. Really looking forward to seeing what they look like when they grow out. This is the bigger one of the group. Um, but I got uh, six of them from Mike Mann. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty pumped about that. They'll be going in a bigger tank soon, but for now they're in this tank. So yeah, that's about it right now. I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Um, like I say, um, check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. If you're looking for some Southern Delight fish food too, hit up Aquatic Support Systems. They are the exclusive um, bulk dealer. Um, you can get great prices for one of the best foods out there. You're not going to find any other food at a better price, especially when you're buying it in bulk. And you're not going to find any other food with a, a better quality 
Um, the growth rates I see in my fish and the coloration is just phenomenal. So check that out. I um, want to thank everybody that subscribes to my videos. I'm about at the 4400 mark right now, which is just crazy to me. Um, so I appreciate you guys that watch the videos and, and stuff. Um, I apologize on my end for not uh, putting out as many videos as I um, used to. Just been kind of in a little bit of a dry spell, so we'll hope to increase that. Get you some more stuff to look at soon. Anyway, thanks for watching, and until next time, we'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.